Ooh. Okay, guys. So, it's the morning of surgery. It's about 6.20, I believe. 6.15 or something like that. And we're about to leave to go to the hospital. I'm supposed to be there at 7 o'clock. I have on no jewelry. I have on earrings. Well, that is jewelry. I have on nothing. Um, I just have on this shirt right here. And these pants, these Victoria's Secret pants. I didn't wash them, even though they're new. I did wash them because I didn't want to have um, color fade off or something on my incision. So, but yeah, we're about to get this show on the road. Um, I'll try to do a little recording from my phone. I don't like recording from my phone because I don't like, I'm going to make sure I have the orientation the right way. But anyway, so yeah. Well, I'm not really worried about anybody hearing me, but, you know, I don't want to be like, you record this early in the morning? Wait, I record this early in the morning work. Okay, listen. So, but anyway, so I just wanted to do a little quick check-in, and I'll try to do well when I get, I was about to say get off work when I get from the hospital. Okay. Hi, welcome back. Um... This is Salifia and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch this video. And if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back for another video. Uh, so in this video, if this video makes it, then that means I decided to share my tummy tuck um, documentary, so to speak. So yeah, um, today is Friday, July 26th and I am actually two weeks and one day post-op I went back to the doctor yesterday which was two weeks I had surgery on July the 12th um, here where I live and um, we're Dr. Prendergast that's her name Dr. Prendergast so um, yeah so if you would like to hear what has happened and how things went for the last past couple of weeks well for the past two weeks then stay tuned so um, after my surgery, and, and I'm gonna I hope I'm gonna have some clips hopefully to insert here, um, a clip that I did make myself, and a clip that was recorded of me that I did not get permission for. But nevertheless, I'm gonna insert it here. Ten minutes, ten to fifteen minutes after they took you, and then your mom, she um, she couldn't. We called her every time to let her know, but she had to go pick up your auntie. Are you recording? Nope. I'm your grandma of the camera. You don't want to go to the Get your cookie off. I mean it. I'm getting it. Oh, you getting it? Okay. The doctor said you did good. You can't hurt me. We talked to her on the phone because me and Punta had just gone go down to get some, and so we had talked to her on the phone. I don't know if she came up or not, but we talked. She called me on my cell phone. I thought they were coming. She took off five pounds. Wow. You're going to be scared in a minute. In a minute. What's your stomach? You seen how it looks? Huh? You ain't look. I did. I can't see it. You can't see it's wrapped up. It's not two years old yet. It's in 216. I didn't even look. <laughs> you been scratching yourself? Damn, damn. Oh, them things on you. Eat your cookie. Damn, girl. Drink some ginger ale. Get Huh? I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm sick of this girl kind of recording me. <laughs> she been recording you. I'm on, I'm on FaceTime with somebody. 
I let her use my phone. <laughs> no, so she can FaceTime. I'm on the phone with somebody. I'm trying to listen to what they say. You don't have no crack in your mouth. You don't fall asleep. That stuff in your mouth. I'm just trying to tell you so you don't choke. Because you don't have to wear the baby. Because you don't have to wear the baby. <clears throat> all right so today is day two and i'm recording from my phone which is something that i definitely don't like to do i've already taken my, taken my earrings off um i came from the doctor i went to the doctor this morning i had to be there at nine o'clock yesterday was fairly easy i was just like really really drugged up and doped up drugged up off the anesthesia and all that kind of stuff so i pretty much slept most of the day but i did try to fight it and I'm actually waiting until 12 o'clock because it's 11.21, waiting for 12 o'clock. So I'm going to take my next dosage of pain pills. Um, the most pain I had was when I woke up at about 3 something this morning and I had to pee. And my body was kind of stiff. Um, other than that, the pain has been, it's it's been bearable. Um, I'm walking hunched up. I, Really and truly, I can't walk straight tall, but I can walk with a small lean. But at the doctor, there are times I put my hand on my knees and all that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to walk with my hand on my knees, even though it hurts because I have like one spot that ugh, like right on my lady parts at the top part. It's just like ugh, it hurts so bad. But anyway, um, so I do have my binder on. So I'll show you my binder. So I do have my binder on. Um. And then I have, I had this, this is a cami. I didn't want a long shirt, so I cut it <laughs> to make it to like a crop top because I don't have any crop tops or anything like that. Um, she took 2.5 kilos or basically five and a half pounds off of skin off of me. Um, you know, I didn't have any lipo or anything like that. Maybe one day I'll do that when um, my finances are to where I can do that. But, um, and so I don't know what my final results are going to look like. Um. But anything is definitely better than what it was. And I see already a significant improvement. Um, I can't, you know, like I said, I can't pull this back and show you because I, I can't be showing my lady parts and stuff on here. Um, <clears throat> make sure that you get your prescriptions filled ahead of time because the last thing you want to do is have to get somebody to go out and get your prescriptions. Now, um, I don't know, these little pellet thingamajigs, I don't know how, you know, good they're going to work with the swelling, but you take five of them at a time, three times a day. And um, I don't know how many are in this little bottle, so babe, I might have to go and get me some more if I use them all up because I definitely want to help with my swelling as much as I can. Um, haven't had much of an appetite uh, yesterday when I got home. Babe got me some soup some loaded potato soup and I had like three bites of that um some crackers and I had some water to drink which I gotta do better because I'm just like not wanting anything for real this morning we after we left the doctor's office we got a chicken biscuit from Chick-fil-a and I got some coffee from McDonald's I don't like Chick-fil-a's coffee um and I didn't want to go to Starbucks today so anyway <clears throat> So that's how that went. My throat is definitely that's the camera. My throat is definitely still sore from where they put the tube down there, <clears throat> which is also another reason why I wanted the um, coffee to kind of like see if it would help soothe my throat because it's been horrible with that feeling in there. Mouth is very dry. It's very it's very dry. So <clears throat> make sure you have some water or some chapstick or something. And y'all, I don't know which where I'm supposed to be looking at. Like I said, I haven't, I don't record from my phone. I particularly don't like recording from my phone. So I hope I'm looking in the right spot. Um, swelling is real. Swelling is definitely real. I'm definitely swollen. Um, and I don't know how long it's going to last, but I don't really care. Um, the doctor told me to make sure I get plenty of rest. Don't do anything. I can shower today. This morning before we went to the doctor, I took a, um, a wash off at the sink. But they told me to shower, so tonight before I go to bed, I will shower. Um, and I'm going to try my best not to drink anything after 8 or 9, so that way, hopefully I won't have to get up in the middle of the night. 
Um, <clears throat> we didn't get a recliner, but they might get me a recliner today because when I was asleep, at first my head was kind of like, oh, I'm sorry, my head was kind of like slumped over like this because I'm leaning. Well, I got a pillow behind me now, so my head can't touch the wall. So later on, we did add another pillow in behind me and then a pillow behind my head because without the pillow behind me or behind my head, I was just kind of like leaning like this sleep because, you know, I can't lay down. And so that's very um, uncomfortable. So, but yeah, it's over five minutes. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to figure in on that. I'll let you know how day one and day two went. So that Thursday, um, I was fine. I was, you know, um, anesthesia, drugs, um, numb, everything was still within me and, and it was good and I was fine. And I think um, that Thursday night, I do believe I did take some pain medication and that Friday, um, I took some pain medication. And I was just comfortable. Now, Friday, Thursday night when I came home, I slept in the bed. I had the, the reading pillow behind me and the wedge up under my feet. But when I got up, I was, it, it, it that was not comfortable. And, and then not just that, I was sleeping with my head kind of slumped over and my baby did not like that so the next day I had a recliner so um so yeah I've been sleeping in a recliner since then thanks babe I really appreciate it okay so anyway um so I had a recliner the next day so that uh so I I mean I was very comfortable in the recliner I did still put the wedge up under my feet um on that that Friday that Saturday I went and everything was fine but that Sunday Sunday started off with um, me some kind of way while I was putting my foot up on the wedge and on my left side it felt like something pulled and so I have like a little hematoma on my left side on my hip so my hip is kind of it's not really like big swole but it's kind of has a little hematoma on there so um, I'm, I'm kind of watching that keeping an eye on that um, but I also on Sunday, I got sick. I was, my appetite was gone. I did not want anything to eat. I did not want anything to drink. I mean, they kept trying to give me food and water and, and I just, I just was out of it. And then I ended up um, throwing up, vomiting, um, and, and, you know, using the bathroom and everything. And it was just, Sunday was, that Sunday was a very, very bad day for me. Um, that Tuesday, I went back to the doctor and... I wasn't I was supposed to go if they were going to take a drain, but not go if they weren't because my doctor was out of town. But I still went because of the hematoma. They took my um the nurse took the tape off that I had on my incision. Um however she still left the drain tubes in, so I had the drain tubes and I went in on that Thursday, that first week, and they took the drain tubes out and I was so glad they took the drain tubes out. But definitely after they took the drain tubes out my swelling definitely went up a notch. I, could, I was like, OMG the next day. I was like, I am really swollen. So whatever it was about them taking the drain tubes out, I don't know. And then drain tubes, and I'm going to try to show a little picture of the drain tubes in. But um, I've seen a lot of videos where people show their stomach and this, that, and the third. And I'm going to show some stuff. But, you know, it's a slippery slope when you're a teacher. And I don't want to do anything that's going to get me, you know, some ethics violations or anything like that so I can't you know I may not be able to show you exactly you know like people show across the whole bottom I, I know I cannot do all that but I, I will show as much as I can um but uh that when they took the drain tubes out that you know that was fine the drain tube was like a little round plastic tube and when she was taking it out everything was fine until she got to the end so on the inside of me that i could not see was about this long of a white flat thing that was like flat and she pulled it out and oh mg that part stinged it kind of, it stinged and it had a burning sensation so i was like oh my god you know so that kind of got me um and when they did my navel my belly button because i do have a new belly button when she did my belly button that kind of felt weird when she was in there it didn't hurt but it just felt weird it had this weird feeling about it so um and and right now and i'm gonna well i'm gonna come give you up to, to date about my navel but anyway she kind of packed it back so then i went the whole next week and my doctor came back um in town i don't know when she got back in town but my appointment was yesterday so i went to see her yesterday and i don't go back for another month but she did tell me because i asked her 
I feel like I was too close to the camera but I asked her could I go back to working out and she said to give it about two more weeks um, so I'm just gonna hold off about two more weeks and then I'm gonna go back to working out all right so now now that we've gotten that out of the way to move move it on to now um, how what I well after I went to the doctor when I went she did say that my belly button my belly button was trying to close and for me to kind of like put a marble in there and that'll keep from closing now mind you i have never excuse me never had a belly i've had an any all my life all my life and so to to be able to look down and see i have a belly button you know and it swells i still have some some swelling that has to go down and it's okay in, in the swelling they said it takes a while for the swelling to go down and even in the evening time if you've watched anybody else's tummy tuck videos where they tell you that in the evening time they are pretty much swollen they are swollen um some other things though let me go back because um, i went kind of fast some things that you will if you plan on getting a tummy tuck a paniculectomy anything that's going on with the stomach some things that will come in handy um a shower chair um, I, my mom has my, my my stepdad before he passed he had a shower chair my mom kept the shower chair and I am so glad she did I hated that shower chair being in my bathroom but that shower chair came in handy it was great for taking showers uh, so the shower chair came in handy but also my grandfather before he passed got arrested so he had a walker and I was able to use the walker because you have to walk slumped over because it it's so tight and it feels like you're pulling apart I am straight up now except for sometimes when I sit down for a few minutes I get tight and so when I stand up I have to kind of get myself almost like um, oiling myself and get myself back to okay you can you can um, you can move fluidly now so I have to deal with that but other than that everything is like I mean fine um, so yesterday um, I, well, in the video, I showed you all the Annika Montana, Montana tabs that I had been buying, have, that I have been taking, and I'm done taking those, and I may get some more, but yesterday I did purchase, um, I purchased some items, and one of the things I purchased was the Annika, Annika Care Gel um, to use this for my swelling. So last night, before I went to bed, before I put my binder on, because I do sleep with a binder, have a binder on, I'm having a lot of trouble finding a faha that fits right because I am hippie and um, so the fajas they're not fitting my leg right I've ordered three different fajas in three different sizes but I do have I did find a waist uh, because my doctor only puts a binder on some doctors will put you a faha on or something but my doctor only puts a binder on so I had a binder on when I woke up um, so I'm still wearing that but I also I did purchase a waist cincher from Amazon and so far and i have that on right now and today is my second day wearing it so i do like that it it is compressing because you are supposed to have something to come compress you in after you have the surgery and the binder is fine but the binder you know it just it's okay so i'm gonna sleep in that and try to wear this waist cincher but i'm gonna go to macy's or somewhere and see if i can find something my doctor recommends spanx but i hate had Spanx before and to me Spanx don't pull you in that much maybe it was just the kind of Spanx I had I don't know but anyway like I was saying I bought the Arnicare gel um I also did purchase this right here this bio oil and I purchased this stuff from vitamin shop in this little bitty bottle I think it was like $11.99 or $14.99 so um I don't know I guess that's the going price for it it came in this box right here but it's supposed to help with scars and my doctor really really loves the way my scar looks she was like perfect though when she looked at it and I think that it looks really nice as well um I also purchased this Neosporin I asked her should I put the Neosporin in my belly button so and she said yeah you know to help it get well and because they did have to remove stitches I did have stitches in my belly button um, removable stitches I also purchased though this rolled gauze um, and some peroxide so basically what I did yesterday and I'm gonna do it today um, I may do it tomorrow I don't know but I, I purchased the peroxide to clean out my belly button and then um, you know with a piece of the gauze but then I'm also take I took a piece of the gauze 
uh, put it around the marble, put a little bit of Neosporin on it, and then I stuck it in my belly button. And then I use this tape right here to tape it up. Put it back in there so you can see it. But it's the Next Care Absolute Waterproof Cushions tape. And I don't really, I'm going to be honest, I don't really like this tape. But I purchased this tape, so this is the tape that I'm going to use. So, um, so I have that. But also, um, so those are the things that I purchase to take care of help with the swelling hopefully and to take care of my belly button but there are also some things i got that are nothing have nothing to do with my surgery oh and there's one other thing and my my uh, babe bought me this uh, my area where i have the little hematoma it kind of leaks just a little bit so this bandage this brand of bandage um it is all in one adhesive gauze bandage super absorbent gauze pad and it says will not stick to wounds so i put this on because and it says ideal for post-surgery post wound care and i put this on and it definitely helps um with the little leakage that's on there so these are really good so now back to what i was saying so some items that i did pick up it's not it's nothing but some cameras i picked these up from Walmart I don't know I'm a person that and like my daughter says I always got to have something under my clothes except for like this but I'm a person that I like to have um items uh not items camis up under my clothes and Walmart has these and they're just basic cheap basic ass camis and they only cost a dollar 68 but I purchased these and this time I purchased them in a size 8 to 10 um but like I said, they're just little T-strap strap camis, and I have a black one. Um, I have a red one. I have a pink one. I have a green one. I have a white one. I have like a teal green one. Teal blue, rather. I have a tan one. And then there's a gray one. I have a gray one. I don't know what I did with the gray one because I did wear the gray one. But I also, also already washed the gray one. That is pretty much it for this video. So this is like, I guess I'll say my two-week post-op. And I will come in to kind of share where I go and how things go from here. Um, if you're interested in me continuing to share, so please do let me know. Um, in the comment section below so thank you so much for clicking to watch another one of my videos please don't forget to subscribe before you leave out and make sure you go and check out my other videos um so you can catch up on all things alifia so until the next time and in between time you ladies and gentlemen be safe and i will do what oh yeah i'm sorry don't forget to comment like and subscribe so once again until the next time in between time you ladies and gentlemen be safe and i will do what see you in the next one bye I forgot to tell you that um, my doctor did take 5.5 pounds of excess, excess skin off of my belly. 2.2 kilos or 5.5 pounds um, of excess skin off of my belly. And um, hmm, what else was I going to say?